and then he gets really strong because someone on the opposite side of the map is at half health in a tri lane or something. But if you have Dazzle in your lane for secret, you could keep sustaining the lane. So if all your heroes are at full health constantly, then Bloodseeker is not really that scary in lane. But that's what happens most of the time is you, you can't really... If you're used to playing your lane, you're like a very comfortable player playing a one-on-one -on -one matchup, you're playing against Bloodseeker, and all of a sudden his damage is just like 30 higher than it was 30 seconds ago, because the top <laughs> lane just entered a fight, right? Uh, it can really throw you off and make Bloodseeker way stronger. So I, I like this as a, as a possible solution here for Secret. It's, it's quite smart. Okay. Then we have the, the Bane ban. I mean, Bane generally, obviously, pretty good lockdown. The Razor coming out as a ban from IG. Bane, of course, because Fnatic used it as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Team Secret's seen this and oh, we don't want to play against that lineup again. Let's just ban out everything else that Fnatic had earlier on. Wouldn't be the worst of ideas. Uh, I mean, playing at your comfort zone, obviously, something we've discussed. I think playing against a Bloodseeker, generally, you want a hero that can just stand there and fight, as opposed to tank the rupture damage. I think Razor is actually And also heroes good that. that do a big amount of bursts. So when he's blood raging himself, you want to just take him out immediately. Mm, yeah. Like Laguna or Finger, stuff like that. Okay. I definitely like the Razor Band. Secret turns to it a lot. It's a great mech carrier. It can secure, you know, the early game so they don't lose terribly hard to IG in the early game like they did to Fnatic. Well, so Winter, you were bringing up what possibly, like, obviously heroes like Lina and Lion being good against Bloodseeker Blood here. Now, with the Quap already picked and then the Dazzle picked, which one would you favor for Team Secret? Do you mean either Lina yeah. or Lion? Mm. Or neither. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they might not even pick. Any of them, because right. like judging by the lineup they have right now, it's quite difficult to fit either one of them in. Mm -hmm. And as a support, Lina or Lion at the moment with the lineup doesn't feel like it will work together. So it's very low chance that we we'll go down that route. I feel. What about Keep It or Light for Secret? Do you think they're gonna pick that? I mean, th it's a... it's a hero that they pick often. Yeah. It's a hero that can it's sustain good. through. Blood it's Secret. somewhat good versus Blood Seeker because yeah. you mana lick him and he can't really move around. Blinding Light is also very good against yeah. both these cores. It's, okay. it's, it's quite it's a good decent. pick against these two heroes, I'd say. The question is how much is at the back of Secret's minds because of that. Like, the last game against Fnatic, they're a very experienced squad. They are not scared of picking something again, even though they lost. They are generally good at identifying, okay, we lost because of draft, or we lost because of play, or a little bit of both, and this is here where it went wrong, but... They might still have it at the back of their minds. We just got absolutely destroyed, and maybe part of the reason was that one of our supports was a Keeper of the Light who couldn't like actively yeah. engage and fight back, but maybe. has to play defensively. So, in that sense, yes, he has abilities that are good against Seeker, but at the same time, he can easily be abused by the early yeah. pressure that a line of play this can put, so... Caudal Dazzle, to me, is just not a good call. Yeah, it's just very weak. It's very defensive, and... Yes, it's a very strong in mid-game, but early game, it might be too much of a handicap that your team has in the laning phase. Now, you guys discussed earlier, I mean, the importance of the support's roles for IG. What are we looking at for supports? What are we looking to round out here? Usually Chuan plays a pretty aggressive hero. Yeah, like a roaming hero yeah. or something that can do stuff alone, like Rubik with boots or Mirana going around shooting arrows. But yeah, this is the classic Zeus plus Berserker. I would say it's more or less likely it's maybe a offlane Zeus and if they want to do some Bloodseeker jungle. But I, I don't think Zeus would be a support this game for them. Yeah, I would say either offlane or mid. I mean, they, they run Spirit Breaker a lot for Luo, I feel like, though. And I, I would li also like to enter the lineup and kind of run out the Wow, room. okay. <laughs> All right, oh, we, wow. <laughs> as expected, Secret. Team Secret. We never play on dying, we'll now team play secret on Team Secret on dying. <laughs> I mean, that makes their team fight really strong. They have Tombstone plus Weave and Quap that does a lot of damage. And I mean, I guess it's good versus a Blood Seeker in a sense where he can't just run in to your team because you have a lot of damage. But right. then again, Blood Seeker can kill the Tombstone yes. very easily with Blood Rage. <laughs> so it might be something that doesn't work against them. So what we're getting at here is whenever we talk about Bloodseeker, we're like, this is good, but then again. It's like the follow-up to like every yeah. single sentence with because Bloodseeker. Because that's how the hero works. Yes. Right? Yeah. He might be good against you, but yeah. he might get killed by you as well. I mean, you could own him, but then again, if your team is low, he one-shots you. So that's yeah. the other problem. I mean, <laughs> that's why the hero yeah. is unpredictable. Yeah, he is yeah, really yeah. frustrating to play against, actually. All right, well... I think Invictus Gaming are looking at some sort of disable. Yeah, or they need setup. Or mm, oh, oh yeah, there's still a mid role. I, we f I forgot to mention there's also the mid role for the Zeus. If they want to put him that way and the Blood Seeker towards the jungle. So that's not so that's something that we shouldn't forget about as well. If yeah, they want to I play mean, greedy. But as you guys were saying right now, I mean, they can simply just run at them. They can't really lock them down or you know, secure mm. anything necessarily. I mean, Rupture's a great way of starting off a fight, but we're, well, versus right. all those defensive abilities, they need something more. So they have so now the... Uh, Primary support might be their roaming support, hard mm -hmm. to say, but classic IG would be Rubik Cleaner. 
they've played that so many yeah, times. Yeah, that's what they did when Law was drafting. Now it was they changed drafters. Now it's Faith drafting. Back at ESL it was Law drafting, and he would always open something plus Rubik, something plus Rubik. Very strong. It li literally makes the off lane life miserable because live into Rocket Barrage is yes. death most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely good. Now, what Secret could try to do is, you know, one of the scariest dual lanes actually to play against is like an aggressive dual lane of Dazzle and Dying is very hard to play against. You yeah. can heal the zombies, and Dying is sustainable. Even if you get him low, you can still grave and keep him going, and then he can build up more right. decay stacks. But a lane like this that IG can run can actually kill him so fast that oh. Secret might not be even be interested in running that aggressive dual lane The here. traps plus the zombies. And they're on the dire side, so a lot of synergy together and Dazzle as well, minus armor. So they have a very strong like timing window type of draft where they're gonna more of like snowball. They're gonna take Roshan at some point. It's gonna be hard to contest it. And they're gonna use Aegis plus Tombstone to just take towers and objectives. Very a couple I, I Really quickly, so TA Rupture does not remove a fraction, right? Because the damage instances are like really minimal, it but it's based on your a movement. A few seconds, I guess. I think it doesn't remove it, it doesn't at all. Remove right? at all. If you run with refraction on the the damage, the rupture deals is like very very little, but I very, think very it's fast. in quarter second intervals. So I think it. So you can remove refraction. I think you can remove okay. it very fast. Uh, then in addition to that, every time Zeus casts a spell, it's two damage instances because mm -hmm. static field yeah. and the spell itself. And there's also rocket brush. So, so I basically, don't know how good a TA refraction. Game is. It's I a mean, good lane. Refraction is not good. okay. It's not good this game, but it has a good lane. I, I think in general, the the hero itself has a lot of synergy with what they have, being yes. on Dire Roshan. Yes. And it works really well with Tombstone, so I think based on that two facts, it's still a really good pick for their lineup. She can also just burst Bloodseeker down really Yeah, easily. with the melt strike. Yeah. So. Bloodseeker cannot play like super YOLO this game. Okay. That's true. <laughs> super YOLO, I like yeah. that. Yo, I mean, if YOLO Blood wasn't YOLO yeah. enough, Blood, you It's like Bloodseeker's a YOLO hero. <laughs> <laughs> it, really it really, actually. <laughs> Alright, well, waiting on the last man for Secret. Using up all their uh, time there, and mm. then the AA man. Yeah, it's they have a lot of heal, so it's a good ban. And it's a Chinese team. Chinese teams tend to like to pick AA a lot against a lineup where you have a lot of heal potential, sustaining mm. sustainability. This is actually a really, really good ban. The more you think about it, that would okay. have been an incredible pick for them. So they have a lot of spam from far range, I'd say, with Zeus and Splinter Bass and Rubik Fate Bolt. So they are going to be able to defend against the five man and tr like drag a lot of time when they are sieging. And they're going to be very quickly able to deal with spread the, damage to multiple yeah. heroes. And then Bloodseeker just starts. Like, and right. Wyvern is somewhat good counter towards TA as well. I feel like it's one of Dazzle's weaknesses, like having so much spread damage from their whole entire team. Like, you can only grave one person. Right. Yeah. And a lot of times that we've seen Dazzle shine is versus those mm. you know, heavy, really single target bursts like Tusk and whatnot. They also have Cold Embrace against TA. That's very, very good counter. So, a good pick. what does Secret need? I mean, they've only got three seconds left. Oh. They need more fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. They have <laughs> zero stuns. I was just about to say, don't they need more stuns or something to they, help? They have level if 4 poison touch. Not, if you talk about and a sure team that plays without stuns, uh, this is the team. I mean, that's true. That's true. But it just looked a little Shuriken odd. Shuriken Toss is a stun. Yeah. <laughs> poison touch level 4. Okay, yeah. yeah. So they're going to go with it. Which they're is not even going to skill. Puppy rally skills that actually. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to run with it. They rounded out with the bounty hunter. Secret coming off of a tough loss against Fnatic, but again, I mean, just one map and so many maps that they're going to play here mm -hmm. for Dota 2 in the group stages, but obviously everyone's going to start to matter more and more. So this is game one between Team Secret and IG. Best of two, whoever wins, maybe they can get that two or get that three points. Obviously, it would be great for IG to start it off, especially against a team like Secret. But for Secret, if they can get the 3-0, I mean... That's just them being like, alright, we're back in the groove. We are the favorites. Uh, anything else you guys... I mean, we. I feel like Look we, out for careers. Look out for careers. Look out for careers. <laughs> yes, this is what I wanted. <laughs> Ferrari is playing Bloodseeker. That is the oh. perfect name. I was name. wondering who it was going to be. The perfect right. nickname for someone playing Bloodseeker is Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, well, yes. we are in game. So game one of Team IG Secret versus IG. <laughs> Those wonderful people tuning in through Dota TV. You've been with us from the very, very get-go. We're here for game number one of round two of the group stages. IG versus Team Secret, where Secret are looking to post their first 2-0 victory after their 1-1 draw to Fnatic, and IG is their first game to kick off the tournament. Yeah, truly amazing. And I mean, one off, like, just 
really off the chain feeling about this TI is the fact that we already breached 3 million viewers concurrent <laughs> in the like first day of TI, really. We had wild cards yesterday, but it's just so hard to grasp. Love your Dota, man. Love your Dota. So what we get from IG is a little bit different here. We have Ferrari on the Bloodseeker. So this is not being played by Luo. In fact, uh, Luo is going to be put into the Zeus role. Yeah. Yeah, Luo has that Boots first Zeus running around. He does have a sentry as well with him. I think he could put that sentry to someone else since he, he will have the Thunderbolt anyway, but maybe he just wants to uh, have it available if he runs into Pantheon so he can I chase him down. I think are really looking for the first blood. Yeah, they are. S4 is not going to give it to him. Oh, like, okay. going for the bounty rune doesn't make any sense. They realize on the bottom no one's down here. Uh, Zai is watching him. Now they do see S4. So first room will go the way of Ferrari. And this will turn us in to now a Zeus safe lane. Uh, yep. We'll have a middle lane blood seeker with support Chuan at the start, at least for the block, and then a dual off lane of burning as the gyro and faith is the root. I'm liking up. this combo. Yeah, IG are mixing up a lot, and uh, it's a really strong combo. You can pull up and just pull them back into the uh, rocket barrage. Of course, hurts a lot, and. Uh we're going to see what Secret do with their Bounty Hunter, because he can't really find that much on bottom, I believe, against the Zeus with just a Nying down there. <laughs> he does have the Orb of Venom, though. But I like how he drops the Sentry Ward at the very start, too. So he'll see Koro now on the bot lane, and understand he's got to keep his distance. Yeah. I mean, he, could, he could even attack him and just force him away and say, hey, I, I see what you're doing. Like, get rid of this Bounty Hunter. Because he's going to pester him as much as he can. Okay, so if you're in our TT shoes right now, you're going one-on-one -on -one with the Bloodseeker, with Wyvern harassing you every now and then. What do you do to stop this? I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta side blade, dude. That's the only thing. You have to pull the creeps from the Bloodseeker into yourself, and then side blade onto the Bloodseeker. That's how you need to lane. Because if you just try to last it against him, it's very difficult, and he won't be scared of you attacking him, because you're attacking the creeps. But if you pull the creeps back, you get an angle, that's how you... Actually can lean against it. Oh, Lure, this is just not his day. Koro is getting really up in his face. And with that Orb of Venom, he does some serious work against the Zeus. Good thing he, he has his clarity. Yeah. Good thing he has his boots available at least, so he can do something there. But yeah, getting really, really pestered out here. Yeah. And this tower is going to go down fast. Like, Puppy is here with the heal on bottom lane. They're going to push this. Yeah. Just creep skip it out. This is also what I think... Uh, Lua was really scared of, and the reason why he backed up from the tower, because he realized it wasn't safe just to sit back behind the tower. It could be uh, like a tombstone leveled up, Zai could throw that down, and then the, the push would just be so easy to kill him, claim first blood, and then momentum will ensue. Uh, instead, though, they bring Lua with a TP, Chuan harassing into Zai, and there's that tombstone drop, so Zai has the advantage at the moment. Lua is trying to get rid of the tombstone, but Poppy harassing him down. Oh, Chuan, they can't he's trying to do the work. They're bringing him more help, with the burst heal actually hitting into Chuan, and now Lua, he might have a bold of valuable faith, trying to take away a little bit the damage, but they're chasing Lua into the tree line. Kuro right Run. behind him. He's just having to juke it around. This movement, the boots, is doing the work until he gets body blocked by Faith. But Kuro picked up, thrown back into the tree line. He's still right on top of Luo. The lightning bolt down. Kuro is dropping. He needs to get away oh, from Kuro's the tower, dead. but he cannot do so in time. IG get the counter kills out. Yeah, they get the counter kills, but that was a lot of TPs as well, and expensive ones this early on in the game. But should flag the fact that we just saw a Bloodseeker kill off a Temple or Assassin in mid. You have to remember, when wow. the rest of Secret's dropping low, he gets buffed up. Yeah. He brought down Arteezy. That is true. When you start fighting, especially running around on low HP for that long, that makes the Bloodseeker really, really strong. So hard to lane against on the mid lane. And uh, he's playing really well. He is winning against the TA pretty hard. Yep. He's 14 and 7 right now. Well, at this point, he's just wishing the puppy would heal up a little bit quicker. <laughs> yeah. And top lane, though, Queen of Pain, after the Rubik TP'd away from top, he's actually going to be taking over a little bit more with the Queen again. But Gyro did get a nice farming start, at least. Mm -hmm. So up to 12 and 7. And Ferrari's expecting more attacks. He's gone three points up in the first. Yeah. 